I'm Christian Staples with Arctic Spas. Sometimes when you drain and refill your spa, you get what we call an airlock. An airlock is when there is a bubble of air in your pump and the water is holding the air in the pump on both sides. Hot tub pumps cannot move air, they can only move water. The pump continues to spin, but the water is not flowing. This will mean that your spa will not heat or filter the water, which pretty much means you're not using your spa until you get this fixed. The good news is this is an easy fix, just five to 10 minutes. To know if you have an airlock, you will typically see the flow air code on the screen. You can hear the pump number one running, but you cannot see any water movement through the jets. If you hear a buzzing noise, this is more likely a seized pump, which is a whole different situation, and most likely you will need to replace your pump. But if you hear the smooth motor noise of the pump and you do not see any water movement through the jets, this is an airlock and you can fix it. There are a couple of ways to get rid of an airlock. The easiest one is to turn pump number one on high speed by pressing the pump number one button. You can alternate every 10 seconds or so between the low speed and the high speed. Sometimes this will burp the pump enough that a little water will get into the pump. If you see any water movement through the jets, keep that pump running on high. If this does not work, there are a couple of other ways to get the air out of the pump. If you have a clean toilet plunger, and I mean never been used for typical purposes of a toilet plunger for obvious fecal matter reasons, you can use it to burp the pump. You'll want to turn the breaker off to the spa, remove the skimmer and the filter, place the clean plunger over the top of the housing, and plunge up and down just like you would normally do. Give it a few good plunges and then turn the breaker on. You can help once again by pressing the pump number one button to turn the pump on high. As long as you have any water movement, even just a little through the jets, keep that pump on high and it will work the air out. The second way is to release the air from the pump. Once again, turn the breaker off to the spa, open up the access panel located nearest pump number one. You can find pump number one by locating the stainless steel tube. This is your heater and it is connected to the discharge side of the pump. You can trace the plumbing back to find pump number one. Remember the heater is connected to the discharge side of the pump and you need to find the suction side of the pump where there is a big white union connecting the plumbing to the pump. Just partially loosen the union about one turn or less and you'll hear the air escaping. Once you see the water coming out, then tighten it back up. It will only take a couple of seconds to get the air out. Then turn the breaker back on and then turn the pump on high to work out the rest of the air. Sometimes this union is tight to loosen up. You can use a pair of channel locks if needed, but you should only hand tighten the union back up. It has to be snug, but not torqued down with tools. You should now see water movement through the jets and the flow air has gone away from the top side. Your Arctic Spa will heat back up now and operate normally as it should. I hope this helps you solve a simple problem that does not allow you to use your hot tub as the hot tub will not heat back up as long as it is reading flow. For more Arctic Spa tips, tricks, and FAQs, check us out at arcticspastore.com support. And you can order all of your stuff that you need or want for your Arctic Spa with the convenience of free home delivery at arcticspastore.com.